you are not called into the ministry. I am. It is my responsibility to watch over your families. This guy has been an elder for six years. Who's been eldering his house? Amen. Most of them never wanted to talk to me and the wives came with big hugs. Thank you. Thank you. We finally have a father in that house. You can't run around chairing everyone's meetings and no one is chairing your children. Your children get abused, you don't even know. <laughs> Sitting at home, your son is gay, you don't know. <laughs> He's running powerful lessons for the church about homosexuality, your own son is gay. Yes. Don't even see, because you're saving the whole church, but your family is dying. <laughs> Measure your time properly. <laughs> Not in days and hours and years, do meaningful things. Yeah. Do meaningful things, be there for your family. I'm a busy doctor. What? You know how many kids are studying medicine? The day you drop and die, you'll be replaced. That's the funny thing about us. We give ourselves to everybody. But the day we drop and die, you know what MediClinic will do? HR will pull another file. And they'll replace you. The staff will cry for two hours and then the HR manager will begin drafting the new specs to replace you. But where does your family go when you drop and die? Where do they pull a CV for another father? Where do they pull a CV for another mother? There's no shelf where we have spare mothers. People have run around and become CAs and CEOs and, and big things to the world, but never there for the people who can't replace you. Come on now. Mm. I've buried many people. Not one child has ever said, I will miss my father for the iPad he bought me. When you die, your family remembers time with you, not the things you bought. So many of us here measure ourselves by the ability to provide the latest phone to our kids. When you can go and buy your, your son an S9 or an iPhone X, you think you're a good mother. Then you drop and die. They don't even remember the phone. Your dream is to have your children live in Bishop's Court. For, so, so for the sake of Bishop's Court, you are never at home, flying all over, signing deals, so that your, 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 your children can have a home at Camps Bay. And then they become drug addicts in Camps Bay. Drug addicts in 